The Christian understanding of the body and sexuality is rooted in Scripture. God invited humanity to be fruitful and multiply, clearly establishing human sexuality as part of the divine plan of creation. Sex is not only good, it is holy, it is sacred, and it is the God-given means of renewing wedding vows and of bringing new life into the world. That's the foundation. Each person created in the image of God and bringing the, the richness and fullness of that image to life within the framework of family life. Isolating sexuality from a moral context and using it to titillate or degrade others for one's own profit or pleasure distorts God's plan. However, all improper depictions of sex are not created equal we can identify three levels of concern. The first level of concern is pornography itself. Pornography violates the respect due the body and robs sexual intimacy of its meaning and purpose. The second level of concern is so-called soft core pornography. This material is sometimes described as erotic. A third level of concern is material which is not usually identified as either hardcore or soft core but is disturbing because of its pervasiveness. One of the concerns we have is about subtle use of sexuality in advertising, uh, in comedy shows, where what is said may not be hardcore or even softcore, but it's titillating and it devalues human sexuality, devalues the married state devalues respect among people. And every time that that happens, the thread is being plucked out of the fabric that holds our society together. The Pope's Council for Social Communications identifies several of pornography's devastating effects. Pornography has a progressively desensitizing effect, gradually rendering individuals morally numb, can be addictive, requiring increasingly perverse material to achieve the same degree of stimulation, can undermine marriage and family life, can incite its users to commit more overtly violent crimes. Research revealed in 1970s that rapists are 15 times more likely to have seen hardcore pornography as a child than non-rapists, 15 times. And now we're filling the homes of America with that very hardcore pornography.